perfect blade. Almost looks like uh, pewter. kind of like taking pictures of the ones that got away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. For this fundraiser, how many pumpkins do you have made? We have 582. 582. Yeah. So this is the fifth year that we're doing the Great Glass Pumpkin Patch. Uh -huh. So what we're trying to do is open an uh, all-access glass studio here in Bloomington that would offer glass blowing, glass casting, slumping, fusing, essentially anything that can be done with hot glass. And so we're trying to raise the funds to do it, but it's not cheap. So it's going to be about $80,000 to open a studio, and we're halfway there. So all the pumpkins are our fundraiser. And we spend 10 months of the year making these. So we'll start making pumpkins for the 2015 patch starting October 28th this year. And we blow every month except July and August because it's too hot. Um, and it's all volunteer done. And the volunteers get to thank things out of doing this. They get to learn glass on the job. So when they're making pumpkins, they start making the stems, but they're learning glass as they go. And then for every four times they come and help us make pumpkins, they earn a free glass blowing class. And so that's making paper weights, ornaments, cups, vases, and working all the way up from there. So how many volunteers do you have We've had, this I think year? we had 41 involved this year in making them. Uh -huh. They range, we have grandparents, we have high school students, um, graphic designer, bus driver, professor, um, stay-at-home mom. We have, I would say, probably two-thirds are women, a third are men, um, but all age range and all skill level. It's enough to make Cinderella green with you. Uh, I know. One year we actually made the full Cinderella pumpkin. Uh -huh. It was gorgeous. I know, it's actually, it's the, it's the whole Cinderella package. You got the glass slipper and the pumpkin. These are made with cane. So that's actually a separate piece of glass that we make first. Uh -huh. Heat back up again and attach to the outsides of the pumpkin. This is a wrap pumpkin. Uh -huh. So we actually... There's the body of the pumpkin, and then a fourth volunteer comes, and we do a very thin wrap of color around the outside, and the wrap just sticks to the ribs of the pumpkins. Um, so this would be a wrap pumpkin. This is called a crackle pumpkin. Crackle? Yeah, so what you do is, this is made from multiple layers of clear glass. So the first layer of clear glass we get yellow on, then we get more clear glass over it, and then we get green. So now we've got these, these colors trapped in between layers of clear. We get the whole thing screaming hot, and then we dunk it in cold water. And the cold water actually breaks the outside. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it would and break. then when we blow, the inside's still molten. So the inside forces the outside apart. I always think of it kind of like plate tectonics. Uh -huh. You know, you've got this inside molten part forcing the, the hard outside part apart. And you can actually see, I mean, this is cracked, but then we melt it all together again. And so it's all one piece. So this is a crackle pumpkin, anytime you see one of those. Once you get this studio, what types of work will you be able to do with that? So once we get the studio, the primary thing will be doing classes, education. So we hope to work with IU. We're already talking to Ivy Tech to run classes with through them. Uh -huh. um, doing kids' classes. So there are things that a five-year-old can do and end up with a glass product. Um, <clears throat> work with Boys and Girls Club, um, work with Girls Inc., doing outreach in the community, doing private lessons and community classes so people can come in and walk in off the street and come learn how to do glass ball. Then we'll also rent the studio. The thing about a glass studio is it's really expensive to have one. So it's not the sort of thing that you're just going to start. Um, and so there are a lot of people who are interested in making glass art but don't have the fun to start our own studio. So we'll do rental time too, so glass artists can come and make their own. And then we'll continue to do pumpkins and some other production uh, to help fund it. Oh, this one, I love the shape of this one. Oh my god, it's really heavy too. I love the blemishes. <laughs>
here we are at the fifth annual Great Glass Pumpkin Patch. And Abby, what do you think about the turnout? It is absolutely glorious. We've got a line stretching down the block. The sun has come out. We could not ask for a better day. And when you saw the line form this morning, what was going through your mind? I was impressed. I mean, our first people showed up at 8.45, an hour and 15 minutes early to wait in line. <laughs> That's so, incredible. Yeah. You want me to take that one? I see you're going for a theme. That pink. That's pretty. You got my good one. Okay. 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 There you go. That's a nice Thank <laughs> you. 